Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be reviewing Ancestry DNA, a genetic testing company. If you have any doubts about your identity or questions about your family history, Ancestry DNA can help find the answers. In the documentary, Our Father, it was a DNA test that led a woman to discover her true identity and find out that she has 94 siblings. With the advanced technology, Ancestry DNA compares DNA samples to the ones from people all around the world to find out more about your family's background background and ethnic history. And by the way, if at any point you'd like to check out Ancestry DNA for yourself and learn more about your family history, then check out the link in the description below to get a discount which isn't available directly on their website. So let's get into what Ancestry DNA actually does. So they use autosomal DNA testing to examine a broad range of genomes to find DNA matches and recent family history. Once the results are in, there is an option to link your DNA test results to a family tree builder on the website. This is so that other Ancestry subscribers who are matched with you can view it. But if you're not ready to connect with other people, you also have the option to keep your results private. One good thing about Ancestry DNA is their use of encryption of personal information for privacy and security purposes. And they also give you the option to delete your data permanently anytime if you want. Now, there's a common misconception about Ancestry DNA that it can be used for forensic criminal investigations. It's not actually suitable for forensic purposes. Ancestry DNA doesn't have the high quality control measures needed to ensure 100% accurate and reliable results. However, in some cases, the police may need to access their database for genealogy purposes. In such cases, there's a lot that goes into protecting Ancestry DNA users and their rights to privacy. According to their website, they require all government agencies seeking access to Ancestry DNA customers' data to follow valid legal processes and don't allow law enforcement to use Ancestry services to investigate crimes or identify human remains. Ancestry DNA will release basic subscriber information about the users only in response to a valid legal process or a subpoena. While you may have heard about Angelina Jolie and how she did genetic testing in 2013 to address her potential health risks, Ancestry DNA does doesn't provide these services directly. However, they did come out with a similar genetic testing product called Ancestry Health in 2019, but discontinued it two years later to focus on specializing in genealogical research. So how does Ancestry DNA actually work? Well, out of curiosity, I signed up on the website to purchase a test kit. It arrived a few days later with instructions on how to use it. First, I filled the test tube with my spit, then I placed the sample in the collection bag and mailed it back to Ancestry DNA's lab. To access my DNA results, I used the 15-digit activation code provided with the kit. So I ended up getting my results after eight weeks. I logged onto the website to access the map and locations features that contain different colored pins. Those indicated the birth locations of my ancestors, as well as the birth locations of ancestors in my DNA matches tree. Then there were also the overlapping birth locations that appeared on both of our family trees. My ethnicity was mostly in line with what I already knew, but it did give me some information that I wasn't aware of. For instance, my great grandfather had nine siblings and many of their descendants are located in the same country that I currently live in. While I thought I'd be satisfied with the initial findings, when I received my results, I wanted to keep digging. And although I have yet to contact any of my DNA matches, I'm seriously considering doing so. I feel like knowing them personally will not only satisfy my curiosity, but the experience will help me grow as a person. So Ancestry DNA offers advanced DNA testing at an affordable price, and they give you the best value for money compared to other genetic testing companies out there. The test kit plus the lab fee costs about 100 bucks, but if you want to access the US records on the Ancestry database, you can sign up for the US Discovery membership plan for about 25 bucks a month. As for the World Explorer membership, you can get access to all US and international records for about 40 bucks a month. The All Access membership plan gives you access to Ancestry DNA's complete database, as well as Fold3 and newspapers.com for about 60 bucks a month. Ancestry DNA also offers a free trial period of 14 days and you can cancel at any time. To conclude, I'd say my experience with Ancestry DNA was a good one because they presented the test results in a clear manner. Their thorough reports and user-friendly interface made it really easy for me to understand. Most importantly, knowing the company's DNA database includes over 22 million customers gave me the confidence that there would be successful matches. I definitely recommend Ancestry DNA to anyone who wants to learn more about their family history. All right, so that wraps it up for today. If you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments 
comments section down below. And if you found this video helpful, like and subscribe to our channel for more. And remember to check out the link in the description below to receive up to 60% off your purchase because you won't be able to get it by going directly to Ancestry's website. Guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.